Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Matthew Makovich alongside Phil Januszewski, and welcome to episode number 34 of M&P in Under 3, the most riveting 182nd interview in the history of the internet that never seems to quite go just 180 seconds. We want to introduce to you Sean Hill, author, performance coach, podcast host, and a pro in the world of NLP, helping others achieve bigger, better, happier goals. Her new book drops soon in February. Activate your RAS, R-A-S. We can't wait. Sean Hill, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the amazing intro as well. Question number one, what is the most rewarding thing about being a performance coach? Seeing the results that the clients get that they've always wanted and never believed that they could have. Hmm. Boom. What is your go-to DJ song request at a wedding, Sean? Important. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I'm really cheesy. I'm like, I love the Spice Girls. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> <laughs> what is one way that you love to de-stress and take care of yourself? A nice hot bath, glass of wine, candle, and a bit of music. Oh, Game over. Matt, is it too much information to tell you that we're both bath people too? I'm a big fan of the bath. Most certainly. With, yes, it's part of my, with uh, the bubbles. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, whatever it is. Those little baby toes just sticking out. What would be a simple strategy in NLP that everyone could benefit from? NLP is all about the programs of the mind. So it's how the mind runs. So the first thing to just dipping your toe in is to begin to become aware of the way that you think because most people run on autopilot that's what programs are so to just start to make a note of what are the thoughts that I have that I do without thinking because it's only when you know what they are that you can begin to change them wonderful answer they get a knock at the door it's either surprise flowers surprise chocolates or surprise pet which one would you like to have most chocolates oh <laughs> I've got I've got two baby cats and I love them with all of my heart but they already fulfill me Whereas chocolate, I can always have a bit more of. <laughs> There's always room at the dinner table for chocolate. That is for yes. sure. <laughs> what is a main takeaway you hope readers get from reading your new book, Sean? To realize that they are the one that's in control of their reality, even if it doesn't feel that way. So therefore, they are the one that can do something to change it. It's super practical. So they'll be able to, to begin to do that. And that's what I love about it. Love your answers. These are incredible. This is a tough one now, Sean. You have to come back to this planet as any animal. Which animal would you come back as and why? It would have to be a lion because they're just so sophisticated. They're the queens. They're, yeah. There, there's just something magical about them. The lioness. Yeah, yeah, I feel the cat theme today. This and and I've got the hair <laughs> as well already, haven't I? <laughs> you have a podcast. Who would be a ridiculous dream guest to have on your podcast? Lewis Hamilton. Big oh, Formula God. One fan. So yeah, get him on. Lewis Hamilton, sign him up. Let's start it now. <laughs> Tell us an event, a time or a day when you looked in the mirror and thought, damn, I look good. Last week, which was a shame because nobody was there to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a, a good night's sleep. I've washed my hair. I've been for a walk. I, I think I may have had a bath. But I was just firing on all cylinders. And I didn't even have a Zoom call that day. <laughs> I should have hit record for some social media videos. <laughs> good answer. Love that. Your friend's wedding planner cancels the night before the big day. You can only hire Matt or myself to help plan the rest of the wedding. Who would you hire and why? I love this, pitting our guests oh. against <laughs> And I definitely can't have both of you. I'm gonna go with Matt. <laughs> tell me why. <laughs> tell, because, tell me why. Because you look so sophisticated today. Isn't that? I'd and like. You know what? Sean, today was the day I looked in the mirror and thought, damn, I look good today. So I'm glad you picked me, Sean. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I would have put sleeves on, Sean. What is your recipe for being unstoppable? It's keeping your eye on the prize and then taking the baby steps. Mm. So just focusing on those baby steps every day. On behalf of Matthew Makovich and Phil Januszewski, Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure to meet you. We can't wait to watch you grow in your journey. Congrats on your new book. I can't wait to read it. Thank Have you for having me.